Last year, the Leicester football team was a very young and inexperienced group with most of the guys getting their first taste of varsity experience. Now, early in the season, they took some lumps, but then they got things rolling. They got confident. They got comfortable, and they finished the season very strong. And guess what? They returned almost the entire team from last year. So, yes, this is a veteran crew. Wolverine's first day in pads practicing, and they are picking up right where they left off. So not a ton of stopping drills to teach. Yeah, last year we had a tough year at the beginning, but as we got going, we picked up some wins at the end, and everybody, all the young kids on our team got a lot of experience. And then we moved on to this year and hopefully have a much better year with a lot of experience this year. Well, us, um, my grade and the juniors below us, um, we have we have the varsity experience uh, at, that we had last year and the year before that. So uh, we, we all know our stuff and we're always flying around to, to the ball and yeah, we know our stuff. So this year we, uh, we're, we're, we're ready for a pretty good year. Uh, last year was a tough year. We had four seniors. Um, which was which made it tough, but this year we um, we have a lot of kids who got a lot of good reps last year. Uh, they were the sophomore class last year, so the juniors. Um, so the good thing about this year is those kids got a lot of lot of reps, a lot of experience. Um, they got beat up at, at times, but I think that's going to make um, them better football players and, and us a better uh, team in the end. And Lester looks like a good crew, well-oiled machine already here in the first day in full pads. They will open up the season taking on Worcester Tech. Doherty putting the pads on and hitting today for the first time. The Highlanders getting after it, too, with some one-on-ones and modified Oklahoma drill. The players pumped to hit. First day hitting, it's really exciting, especially because uh, we started late this year. So we started after school started, and we've just been ready to go all week. and All, all summer lifting, we've just been anticipating it. The first day hitting is always exciting. You know, kids working out all summer, get to see what they're made out of. We have a lot of new faces. Some positions opened up, so... Got to see what kids are made out of. Oh man, the first day of actual full pads. I think that's that day that everybody's looking forward to. You know, it's one of those days where we get to show how hard we've been working all summer, how hard we can hit, how physical we can be as a team. It's a really important day for all of us. It's, that's something that everybody's been waiting for, you know. Um, what we do is we work hard in the weight room and everybody's just waiting, waiting. We gotta wait three days. And everybody's just like, oh, I want to hit someone. I want to hit someone. And we finally get out here, and like everybody lets loose. It's so much fun. Uh, we've been out here and on fully, uh, just working hard and in the weight room all summer. So when we finally get the chance to put on the pads and hit, it's just a good feeling. And it, some of us are kind of rusty, so we're just going to keep on going day after day. So. I didn't see a lot of rust on those Doherty players. They were pumped, they were primed, and there was a lot of hitting going on today. Great way to start practice for Doherty and start the season with some big time collisions out there. And the Highlanders will open up the season taking on Auburn. Holy name putting in the work on their practice field for the Naps. Chemistry isn't just a class you take junior year. Team chemistry is the key to having a good season. We came together this year after last year's under 500 season. Uh, we came together as soon as November, right after the Thanksgiving game. Coach Bucko has been like a father to all of us and the rest of the coaching staff. It's like, a, it's like a big family here. Ever since my sophomore year here, it's really felt just like a family as a football team. We come together every day. You know, we're always there for each other during school, after school, even out of school. And that's just a big thing for us. We don't have, you know, 140 kids on our roster, so at the end of the day, we have to be a family and trust each other, and that really is what you know makes us a good team at the end of the day. Uh, we're like a family on this team. We're all like brothers. We all, we all like together no matter what. We, um, we're like a family here. And Holy Name will open up the season taking on Wachusett. Former St. John standout, UMass running back Shad Abrokwo was a big part of the Minuteman offense last year. That experience makes him confident and comfortable this year. All the previous game experience now, now I know, you know, the game is now slowing down for me. And as the years go along, um, I'm more in my playbook and you know, I know more of my assignments and alignments. And, if, and, and with the new running backs coach, he, he's been real helpful to me. All right, a lot of Central Mass guys on that UMass 2 deep, and we will hear more from them in the coming weeks and former Holy Cross standout and a member of the San Jose Sharks 
uh, playing squad, Pat Rissmiller, named today a development coach with the New Jersey Devils. That's pretty good. He was just in Worcester a couple years ago, right? Yeah, he was. He was played here in Worcester and then, of course, played for a bunch of uh, time out in uh, San Jose. But I like the wrestling thing. With the Holy Cross coaches, we're going to try to institute that here at Channel 3. We'll have wrestling offs for who's going to be the news anchor. Oakland entertain the thought. Oh, yeah! The macho man Randy Savage. It's not going to be me, that's for <laughs> sure. But Holy Cross, I think it was TMZ, ESPN. I mean, all these major websites Everyone. picked it up. It was, it was all, And you know what? It's great for the program. It's great to have that buzz about the program. Absolutely. For the players to see their coaches having fun, that enthusiasm is just infectious. Awesome. All right, thanks, Kevin. Appreciate okay. it. All right, for Kevin Shea, I'm Tim McCone. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow night at 6.